The scope of one's personality is defined by the magnitude of that problem, which is capable of driving a person out of his wits. One day in retrospect the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. The great question that has never been answered and which I have not yet been able to answer despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul is what does a woman want? Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. A woman should soften but not weaken a man. We choose not randomly each other. We meet only those who already exist in our subconscious. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or deepest despair. It is that we are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love never, so helplessly unhappy as when we have lost our loved object or its love. Words are capable of arousing the strongest emotions and prompting all men's actions. Immorality no less than morality has at all times found support in religion. Religion is a system of wishful illusions together with a disavowal of reality. Life as we find it is too hard for us it brings us too many pains disappointment and impossible tasks. Unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. Neurotics complain of their illness but they make the most of it and when it comes to taking it away from them they will defend it like a lioness young. The pleasure of satisfying a savage instinct undomesticated by the ego is uncomparably much more intense than the one of satisfying attained instinct. When inspiration does not come to me I go halfway to meet it. Dreams may be thus stated they are concealed realizations of repressed desires. Limited sex leads to increasing the value of sex.